Today I'm going to be opening thousands of treasure chests for all the treasure that is inside. So that's gonna give me a lot of money that I can use to get some upgrades so I can open the chest better, as well as get some other upgrades that will slowly start to open the chest for me. And then we just collect a lot of money at the bottom and then sweep it all up so we can use it to get some more upgrades. Upgrading to the max. Not quite the maximum, but we're doing a lot more passive damage to the chest. And we can also equip a special cursor that will give us some bonuses, like our clicks have a chance to spawn one gold coin so we can just click this a bunch and there's a gold coin right there and another one but since i have to help the chests out with a whole bunch of clicks of my own let's go ahead and give this some more upgrades so now we're doing five damage per click but the extra bonuses is making it six damage oh and this is a reinforced chest with a lot more health behind it thankfully we can just crack this open which should give us some much better loot and now we're up to 100 coins already let's go ahead and get some more passive upgrades so now we're doing six damage every second to the chest which means we're able to open a lot more of them. Another reinforced chest has no chance to stop me. Ooh, this one had a quartz inside of it. We can use that to upgrade our cursors. Let's go ahead and upgrade the one that we have on right now so it gets better active damage. And there's another quartz in there already. Wow, we're having some good chances here today. And there's so many coins filling up the bottom. There is a limit to how many there will be before they start automatically collecting themselves, but I kind of want to see where it is. There's already two more quartz on the screen. I love this. Oh, there they all collect themselves. Woo, 400 coins now. And three of the quartz. So we'll upgrade this cursor again for 11% active damage. And all these coins that I have, I think I'll use to purchase the next chest, which is a bit more health behind it since it is a timberwood chest, but that means it has more money into it. And all the extra money that we do have, we'll pour more into passive upgrades. We're doing 27 damage a second. And we're back to opening up the chest in a very reasonable time. And this chest also has a chance to drop an additional treasure which I'm not sure what it is. Probably whatever one is needed to upgrade the Gale Force cursor, which does have a lot of crit damage, but it needs a crit chance. I think I'll stick with the cursor I have for now. And we'll give some more active damage clicks for doing 31 damage a second. Not a second, per click. So these chests have no chance. Ooh, and there's one of the special drop things. Is that like an amethyst? It is. So now we can use it to upgrade the Gale Force cursor, which gives it a little more crit chance. So we might as well equip it and see what happens there. We lose a little bit of damage on the active clicks, but that's okay because the chests still open up very quickly. Ooh, there was a crit for 103 and another one. The bonus isn't as helpful here because it just gives a chance to spawn a coin for every critical hit. But we did get another amethyst, which is good. And there's other cursors that we can unlock as well. Probably when we get to the next treasure chest or two. But we'll collect all those coins so we can afford the next chest, which is a rock bound chest. It's just literally a wooden box with a rock on top of it. I don't know who came up with that idea, but this thing takes a lot of clicks to get through to open it now. Ooh, but I'm thinking this is a lot more coinage side as well. And it definitely is. Those coins are worth 17 and 13 a piece. So we'll use those to give ourselves some more passive damage upgrades for 47 damage per second. And we did unlock a new cursor, a radiant touch for increased active and passive damage, but it needs whatever that thing is. It looks like an orange. What's the one that looks like an orange again? A topaz? And at least the crits are helping out to open these things. Crits are helping very nicely. Ooh, and that one had a key in it. What do I use you for? I found the prestige key. Wow. I've only been recording for eight minutes and I already found that. Cool. So so now I just need to find the prestige chest. I guess we'll just have to keep opening chests until we find it and get some more passive damage upgrades. 120 damage a second. I like the looks of this. And just continue filling up the screen so I can collect a lot more coins all at once. We should be getting there pretty soon. And there it is. Oh, look at all that coinage. That's all gonna go into passive damage upgrades, which is going to be quite a bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, 450 damage a oh, second. A Woo, damage. We're blazing through these rockbound chests now. We should be able to get that topaz in no time at all. Oh, a reinforced rockbound chest. I gotta blaze through this. And rockbound reinforced chest is open. Aha! And another amethyst. Where is my quartz? Or topaz? I'll take either one. Oh, hey, there's the topaz. Thank you. A yellow topaz. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. So let's upgrade the radiant touch clicker and then immediately equip it for that active and passive damage boost. 527 a second now and doing 68 damage per click. If only I was doing one more damage. I guess I can't make one of those jokes today. So I'll just go back to what I was doing, which is opening millions of chests and filling up the screen with coins very quickly. So they all get collected at once. And there's the quartz that I need just so I can increase the Gale Forest clicker again. So now it has a 1% crit chance. And then use all of those coins to buy the next tier of chest, which is worth 7,000 and it's a bronze chest. I see. So now I'll just let all these coins collect on the screen and see how much we get in one go. And all of it goes 7,000 coins and some change. I like it. Oh, another reinforced 
fourth chest showed up. Time to bring back the Gale Force clicker and get through this as quickly as we can. There wasn't really any crits that time. That was kind of pointless. Ooh, another Topaz. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Although I'm thinking I'm going to see the next tier of chest very soon. And just like that, we're here. A Sequoia chest. Weird. And then unlock two more cursors. Energy Surge and Phantom Palm. Crazy. I'll tell you what else is crazy though. The speed that we're going through these things. I thought they were having a whole lot of health, but all those upgrades are making it seem like nothing. That just means we need more upgrades to go through these even quicker. And this one still pumps out an amethyst every now and then, even though it seems like the chances for it are a little less than before because there's more treasures to drop. But treasure is treasure and I'm going to take all of it. And the Phantom Palm has 7% chance to spawn a treasure for every critical hit. Each treasure has a 3% do double in value. Not sure what that means, but there's that other treasure I needed and all bite. Isn't that a character from My Hero Academia? Anyway, let's upgrade the Phantom Palm to do more good things and start seeing some of those crits, hopefully, which I'm not seeing a whole lot of crits. Oh, there was a crit for 2,400 damage. Oh my goodness. And another one. So if they're happening that quickly, then we should be seeing a treasure from them in no time. Can I sell these treasures as well? It seems like I should be able to, but right now I can't. Oh, well, I'll just keep collecting them and collecting all of this gold coinage as well to get a lot more passive damage. Oh my goodness, uh, 15,000 per second moly. now. Sequoia chests have nothing on this now. And there's a lot more treasures popping out, which isn't even from me clicking. I can barely keep up with the clicks. Ooh, but that passive damage was good for this. Reinforced chest to show it up. Look how fast it goes down on its own. I don't even have to do very much, but that should mean some very good coins from that as well. And I just realized our passive clicks have been upgraded 50 times now. I kind of want to share some of that with the active clicks. So let's go ahead and do that. And then just need a few more times to get it so we can stop doing some evil damage. Don't want to be doing evil damage. And just because I'm curious, I'm going to go back a few chests to the starter one and just... <laughs> it's what I thought. We're just opening them every single time one shows up. It just doesn't stand a chance. And another treasure popped out. So that's a good idea to do that if you want to upgrade those sort of things. And the crit sure help out with that a lot. There isn't even really an opportunity for me to click to get a crit. The chests are gone too quickly. Look at that. Hello? Is this a prestige chest? I found the prestige chest. Well, how about that? I didn't think I'd be able to find the prestige chest and key so quickly. I think I'll wait on doing that though, even though we have a lot of skill points. And it's really fun seeing how fast these reinforced chests get destroyed. But they do give me enough money to get the next chest, which is an ironbound chest. And that still goes down pretty quickly. My goodness. Oh, I can't upgrade the passive anymore. It's starting to get expensive. I can upgrade the active though. 100,000 coins, which I want to throw all of it into passive damage and just see how quickly that bar depletes now because we'll be doing five thousand damage five and a half thousand damage no fifty six thousand damage what am i saying that's just that's a lot of damage my individual clicks pale in comparison i also like that there's an occasional coin that gets stuck at the very top of the box just waiting to be collected and a hundred thousand coins does not take very long to collect anymore we're already back to that point how much do we need for the next chest three hundred thousand oh my goodness might as well use this time to go through reinforced chests with some more crits and there's actually a few reinforced chests back to back like this. What is going on? There's a collecting and 170,000 after it all gets swept up. It won't take much time to get to that 300,000 at all. But I guess I can buy things like lock picks and hammers for a few coins each. Let's just unlock all the things we can purchase. There's a mini chest there, but that takes a million gold. Let's just use some of these things since I already spent money for them, like the golden touch. Woo, which gives us more gold coins for 30 seconds, I think it is. For 15 seconds. But I suppose we we could combine that with the loot potion which is active for 30 seconds and we get back all that money that we lost and the lock picks are kind of a moot point right now because they only give a chance to instantly open one so i suppose i could use it for the reinforced chests but really nothing else because none of the chests are locked long enough for it to be a concern so i think i'll just buy the next series of chests oh hey it dropped an item actually a damage potion and this chest takes quite a bit to open so once one of these is reinforced i'll try that lock pick so let's just use a damage potion to do more damage for the next 30 seconds so we can get through these chests a lot quicker. And we're dealing more crits at the same time somehow. So that's a sweet bonus. And we should have unlocked new cursors as well. Ooh, a steel strike with some good bonuses there. Like 5% more gold. I like more gold. Ooh, and that's a new gem piece. What are you? An aquamarine, which can upgrade the steel strike. Ooh, there's a reinforced chest. Oh, good thing I want to use the lockpick. That's 2 million HP on that. Let's go ahead and use it. 
And oh, it did open right away. Ooh, how much are those coins? 5,000 a piece. So I'd say a lockpick was pretty worth it, even though it only had a 30% chance to open it. Pretty good, I'd say. Dealing some nice damage per second nice. as well. There's the joke. Now let's just collect all of this money all at once. So there's 300,000 again. Now let's upgrade the passive damage a whole bunch of times. Doing 94,000 a second. That goes back to making these chests very easy. But the reinforced chests are still a bit of trouble. Let's go ahead and just use the lockpick again. Nope. See if it... Oh, it broke. Fine, let's use a few of them because I don't want to sit through that. So why don't I just go ahead and upgrade the lockpicks a few more times. Time, so I have a better chance to open it right away. Speaking of, let's just go ahead and use the two that I have. Hey, the second one worked. And I could sit here and wait for these chests to give me just a whole bunch of money. But what I really want to do is just go back to the most expensive chest that I can that opens instantly. So this would be the Sequoia chest. Or I suppose I could sit here at the Ironbound chest after I upgrade the passive damage a whole bunch. That's pretty instant, I'd say. And then I'm just going to let this sit overnight and see how many chests we open by the morning. One eternity later. It is now the next morning, and look at these other things down at the bottom of the screen. They don't get swept up with the rest of the coins when everything gets collected. Some weird stuff. I found a medal. Well, there's other things here too, like a ring, a skull. There's a sword here, a demonic sword. A trophy, a king's crown, and a book, and a four-leaf clover. So that's what the cool stuff is. And I get some bonuses. Very nice. And we're also looking at 100 million coins. Wow, we haven't learned this run for a while but that means we can afford a mini chest for whatever this does Ooh, bonus money so every 300 seconds that spawns a small clickable chest and there's other things we can get too like a key that instantly opens a chest and the treasure bag is 115 million i don't know how quickly i can get that but i can afford this chest an ocean chest. And that gave us a new cursor. Lethal touch. Ooh. And we can afford the next chest, which is poisonous. And the next chest, which is golden. And another cursor. Precision point. And this has a lot of HP in it. So let's just upgrade our passive to a nice level. And do the same for the active damage. It doesn't quite get us all the way through the golden chest as quickly as the rest of them. But it's where I want it to be. There are some things you just can't explain. You just do. And I can't afford the next chest. That's 125 million for that chest. But now there's plenty of bonuses happening from all the stuff that we've collected. Like coins popping out on clicks. And they give a lot of money when they're opened as well. And enough chests were opened for us to get to level 27. Which I'd say is pretty good. Gives us a lot of skill points when we prestige. Speaking of which, I think I'll be okay with doing this. We still keep the rare treasures. So, yes. And now we spend the skill points. So, first and foremost, we can get an auto clicker and make sure we get the wealth for extra gold and increase the passive of damage, leaving us with some nice skill points to go through. Now the jokes are rolling. Ooh, increased at passive damage. I think we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll give the treasure a better chance to drop. And last thing, we'll get the goodie bag. Choose an item to start with after you reach prestige. And that's all the points. And we can start with, how about the gold touch? Yeah. And then we're right back to where we were before. But we still get the bonuses from the cool stuff because of course just popped out on a click. So we can level up the cursor right away and get right back to what we were doing, which is making a lot of money from opening a lot of chests. Well, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video of Treasure Chest Clicker. If you want to see more of it, then be sure to let me know. And thank you very much for watching. Sub to intern. And I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Agent Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Herald, Todd M, Peggy Sue O, and Droopalong.